What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today's video we are finally going to be launching the Kayak USA Mothership. Check it out. Alright guys, so it's finally time. I'll show you what I've got so far on it. I've done a lot of stuff since my last build to it. I think the last thing we did to this boat was uh, maybe wired the trolling motor up on it, but I've got the batteries completely installed. Uh, I'll, get, I'll show you real quick what it looks like, and then we're gonna hook this thing to the truck and take it to the lake and, and see if it floats. This boat has not touched the water in over 10 years. Like I said, it's been sitting for over 10 years uh, if you follow my channel, you know all about it. You've seen me build this boat from the day we got it. If uh, you're new to my channel, make sure you check out the playlist and you can see what this boat looked like when we got it. We stripped it down. We put a deck on the front. We carpet it. It's, it's really cool. Just go check it out if you're new to the channel. But I'll show you guys what it looks like before we take it to the river. So as you can see, the deck is still doing really good since we sealed it uh, last year. Before winter got here, I believe, is when we sealed it up. Uh, the carpet still held up really well. I pressure washed it. I vacuumed it. It's, it's been nice and hot the last couple of days, so it's dried out really well. As you can see, I've got the Hobie strapped in. It's not going anywhere. This should haul very well. Uh, I've got the seat and everything. I'm just going to throw it in the back of the truck. I bought this little storage container here today. Uh, it holds the anchors and the uh, foot control for the trolling motor and a bunch of little odd and end stuff that we need for the boat. I added a fire extinguisher. And if you look back here where I built the battery box, you can see, well, if it's not too black, let's see if I can get the camera down in there for you. You can see that I added two deep cycle marine batteries for the 24 volt Minkota that we installed. And then I've got the extra battery here because I did end up installing the winch, but remember I was gonna put it on the trailer, but one of you guys commented and said, hey, why don't you just mount the plate to the boat and just slide the winch on and off of it whenever you need to use it so i've got the wire ran to that extra battery in the back just for the lights and the winch so that they don't you know drain any of our juice for the trolling motor that we're going to need so here in a minute we're going to lower the top for the first time strap it down hook it to the truck and we're going to head to the lake let's go see if this thing floats So she officially floats, so I'm happy about that. We didn't really have any issues backing it in. I did have to back pretty far down the boat ramp, is what they call it here. It's just a slow, like, slope out into the water. But we got her in. Uh, I think it'll do a lot better in a, on a normal boat ramp in the river or something like that. And as you can see, this thing throws some pretty good weight behind it. With that 80 pound thrust, I was really worried that it wasn't gonna push as good as it has. But man, it's, it, we're, We've went probably, what, two miles, you think, in the back? 
about two miles and we're, we're anchored off now and it's floating pretty level i mean i keep feeling like it's like raised up in the front but then if you look at the pontoons the pontoons don't look like i mean it looks completely level all the way across uh got a lot of room i'm fixing to attempt to launch the hobie off the mothership for the very first time so i'm getting a good feel of how everything is going to be whenever we finally do get to camp on this thing i think we got plenty of rooms for two kayaks and they strapped down really well they they traveled it traveled great when i folded the top down it's real windy out here i hope uh it's not picking up too much wind on you guys but we are right in the sun but we do have a shade thanks to that roof in the back of the boat so i'm going to attempt to launch the hobie off the deck i think launching it's going to be easy getting it back on the boat might be a little bit harder but let's let's find out we did bring our dogs with us i'll show you them this is carly she don't like the wind blowing her ears, so she starts freaking out a little bit. Carly! How you doing? <laughs> see what she does when the wind gets on her. It's okay. But see, baby. we got plenty of room. I've got the the rods. They're stored in the roof. We've got the life jackets up top. I got my beautiful wife on the back of the boat. We got the little dog bed back there. It was kind of difficult controlling the trolling motor at the rear of the boat because we just had a fish jump right here. Right here by the boat. But because the controls are backwards because they're designed to be on the front of the boat so I had to get used to that but after I turned it down from 10 because I had it on 10 and this thing was just so hard to control wide open so I, I found a sweet spot about five and it did good so now what I'm gonna do is attempt hey puppies I'm going to attempt to slide the Hobie off the front deck but look at this view there's a ton of kids out here like playing on the the spillway way out there y'all probably can't see them but look at the mountains out there it's gorgeous i love this place and there's no gas motors allowed here so you don't have to worry about boats or jet skis or anything beautiful right around that bend and about half a mile back is where i camped with my son if you haven't seen that make sure you check it out we uh we kayaked all the way to the back and spent the night out there and slept in hammocks and it was really fun but this is the scenery we get. Love it out here. All right, let's try to get this Hobie in the water. I guess I'm gonna try to slide it just backwards straight in the water. I've got the Mirage Drive in. I don't have it strapped down, so let's take it out. I've gotta get me a strap so I don't lose this thing, but. You want me to this is Sparta you off the boat, kick it? No. Come on. Do you want to put a rope on there? Uh, I thought about it. It'd be cool if you had a rope. And that way you can just hook it up. I can go ahead and attempt to pull it up right now too. If I don't lose it to this wind, I'm gonna try the same thing. I'm gonna try to just pull it up and see how it works. Oh yeah. How simple is that? That, I mean, that's great. I am gonna tie it off though. So now what I think I'm going to do is before I get on here go fish, I'm starving. We brought a little bit of food. We're going to eat a little bit. The sun is kind of right in front of us, but we have shade at the back of the boat. And we're just going to chill out, throw some chairs up, and relax a little while until the fishing gets good. The wind is finally starting to die down a little bit. It got bad just a few minutes ago. But we're anchored off. The anchors are holding pretty good. Still got the Hobie tied off to the side. My dad come out to join us. Say hey, Pops. Hey, Pops. <laughs> 
Beth done, she's been swimming or floating around in this thing. So I think I'm gonna go for a dip and see what this water feels like. All right, let's see how cold this water is. Uh, You hit the rope, he's gonna burn the crap. I think he did that on purpose. <laughs> After swimming for a little while and doing a little bit of fishing, I made up my mind that the mothership is now ready to do some overnight camping trips with the kayaks. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and be on the lookout for our first overnight adventure on the new mothership. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one.